so this is the new Retivis A1. It's a dual band HT that was sent to me free of charge from Retivis in exchange for this video and test and evaluation purposes. In today's video, we're going to hook it up to this Nisei SWR and power meter. It's the RS40. We have it set for the 15 watt range and then we have it set for power. And then our signal will be going into this MFJ dry dummy load. Ready to elevate your electronic project? Meet PCBWay.com, your go-to for all PCB solutions. Get top quality PCB manufacturing and assembly at an unbeatable price. Enjoy lightning fast turnaround times and dependable global shipping. Fast worldwide shipping ensures your PCBs reach you on time every time. From prototypes to production, PCBWay is your trusted partner. Visit PCBWay.com today and turn your ideas into reality. If we take a quick look at the control panel, let me key up so it's a little easier to see. You can see that we have LO set for our power designation. I can click through that by clicking this pound key. You see now it's on medium and now it's on high. Let's go back to low and I've set this radio for 146.52000. Now I went through the instruction manual and I was not able to find a designation for this radio and uh, what power levels we should expect. So we're going to test it and see what we get. So here's what we saw in the instruction manual. And right here we have RFTX power and it just says high, middle and low. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to key up and see what we see. And that looks to be about a half or three quarters, maybe two thirds of a watt on low. Let's go to medium. And that looks to be about three, about three watts. Let's go to high. And we are just at five, maybe just a smidge above. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a pass on two meters. Let's go ahead and try 70 centimeters. And let's go to low power, key up, and we're right around one watt. Let's go to medium, and medium's about four, four and a half watts. Let's go to high, and it looks like we're about six watts. Now, it's not uncommon for these HTs to have a higher power output on 440 or 70 centimeters than it does two meters. Anyhow, that's going to wrap up this video. I want to say thank you to Retivas for sending me this radio for my consideration. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below, and I'll do my best to respond.